My name is Steve Jeffrey, and I'm a consultant burns and plastic surgeon in the Birmingham Burn Centre in the UK. I've been using the LDI since 2000, initially in Newcastle and then here in Birmingham. The LDI machine shines a laser light at the wound. The movement of red cells in the upper layers of the skin causes a shift in the wavelength of the reflected light, and this is picked up by sensors. The computer translates that into the amount of blood flow present. The essential factor for spontaneous healing of a burn wound is re-epithelialization of the skin surface. This occurs by proliferation of epithelial cells from hair follicles and sweat ducts, which are situated within the highly vascularized tissues of the dermis and the superficial subdermis. Use of the LDI to assess tissue blood flow therefore indicates whether these structures are intact or damaged. High laser Doppler blood flow indicates a more superficial wound. Low laser Doppler blood flow indicates a deeper wound. However, for LDI assessments, the concept of healing potential is used rather than burn depth because research has shown that LDI results are very closely correlated with healing times. The wounds which benefit most from LDI assessment are the ones which are most difficult for the clinician to diagnose. Anyone can diagnose a clearly full thickness or clearly superficial burns, but there are many burns in between which can be difficult to assess even for very experienced clinicians. It is in these cases that the LDI will be able to give the clinician confidence in the healing potential of the burn. The ability of the laser to do this without touching the wound is a great advantage. The early accurate assessment of burn depth may allow the prevention of skin grafting of some burns. This saves the hospital time and money as well as preventing an unnecessary operation for the patient. Conversely, the early diagnosis of a deep dermal burn will allow for earlier skin grafting, again saving hospital time and inpatient stay. Obviously, like any system, there's a learning curve, but even fuddy-duddies like me can easily set up an LDI scan. As the LDI is assessing microvascular blood flow, there are other research applications that the system can be used for. For example, I use the LDI to help me in deciding whether my Integra is sufficiently vascularized to go on to the second stage.